What's going on, everybody? My name is Mahalo, and I have a little teaching for you guys. Hopefully, this teaching can explain a perspective or two. So the name or theme of what I'm going to explain today is how men think versus how women think. Right? So on this chalkboard, I have two silhouettes. On your left side, you have A, which is a man. Right? And on the right side, you have B, which is a woman. Now, although clearly these are two different silhouettes, right? One's a man, one's a female. They are identical. However, they're chemical process of how they do things is completely different. And I'm going to explain that. So start with the right side, right? Let's start with the women. So the women, right, they have all of these different things on their mind, right? Or a matter of fact, I should say all of these different things in their circle. So we're going to uh, use their brain to symbolize their circle. So inside of this particular circle, you know, a, inside of a woman's circle, you she'll have like her man, she'll have her family, she'll have marriage, right? She'll have maybe her kids or some shopping, right? Or, you know, maybe some love or even quality time. So doesn't necessarily mean that every woman has these same particular things, but this is like a general idea, right? Now, on the man side, right, a man will have things like his job, maybe money, maybe he'll have some goals he wants to achieve, his car, you know, maybe he wants to get a house, you know, something along the lines of that. Things, things that are... I guess you could say materialistic in a sense, right? So let's move on back over to the woman, right? So a woman will take everything that she loves and that means the closest to her and she'll put all of these different things in a circle. So if you notice inside of the brain, I put all of these different things that a woman might, uh, might have the most love for. If you look back at the side with the man, notice that I put a couple different things outside of the circle, like the job, the money, the goals, the car, the house, right? Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the man doesn't love these things. It's just that there's a different process. So moving back over to the women for a second, right? Women will take everything that they love and they'll put it on the inside of their circle. However, if you notice, the woman is outside of the circle. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't love herself. It doesn't mean that she thinks any less of herself. This just means that she takes the things that she loves the most and that she's the most passionate about, and she puts them before herself. This is just how women are designed. A man, on the other hand, right, does the complete opposite to a certain degree. A man will put everything that he loves outside of the circle and one by one process each thing depending on the level of importance so as an example this particular example has the man on the middle in the middle of the of the silhouette maybe at this particular moment this man feels like he's the most important thing at that moment once he's done feeling like he's the most important thing or whatever his reason for being inside that that circle he'll erase that and He'll maybe put the job. Maybe the job is, you know, the current thing on his mind. Maybe he feels, you know, he wants to get a new job or, you know, he wants to make some more money or maybe he wants to be more in his career. Whatever the reason is, that's the main thing inside of his circle. Once he's finished with that, he'll erase that and he'll put the next thing. So maybe the next thing is his car. Maybe he wants his dream car. Maybe his car is giving some mechanical issues and he's trying to figure out how to fix it. Whatever the case may be. So one by one, a man erases all of these different things and one by one puts them in the middle, right? So he kind of 
makes time for each one of these different things. Now, this is where men lack the skill. If a man was able to take all of these different things like his job, the money, the goals, the car, the house, his woman, right? And even himself and put everything in that circle, what happens is he gets confusion. It's too much. Overloading the brain. Overloading the circle. So it's too much going on in there. All right? So a man cannot do the same thing that a woman can do. A woman can take all of those different things, put them together, put them before herself, and still perform her task and do it with 100% love. Shoot, a woman would even be able to remember certain things, right? So going back on over to the man real quick, right? Let's go ahead and erase this, right? Now, spiritually, when God created a man, right? God realized that he made a mistake with certain things. He realized that when he made a man, he didn't make them as emotional. They lacked certain skills, you know, communication, you know, being able to let the next person know, hey, this is what I'm feeling. This is what's going on. You know, he designed the man. He, he made a mistake with certain things. So God stepped back and said, you know what? I need to make a counterpart. So spiritually, a man has what we call a rib, right? And I'm not talking about a physical rib. I mean a spiritual rib. So a man cannot be complete until he has that rib. That rib will be his significant other, right? So in the nutshell, in theory, a woman does not have that issue. A woman already has the rib. She actually has the extra rib to provide to the man to make him whole. Now, the common issue that people have whenever they're going through their relationships with people or their significant other is that they don't understand how the opposite party thinks. They make assumptions. So as an example, a man might think that maybe if he got a better job, maybe if he made more money, maybe if he achieved his goals, got the car that he want, got the house that he want, that the woman would be happy. But see, on the opposite spectrum, a woman doesn't think like that. A woman doesn't care about all the materialistic items. A woman so, solely cares about the things that are in her circle. So in this particular case, she cares about her man. She loves him. She cares about her family, her marriage, her kids, shopping, love, and quality time. These, these are the things that would make a woman feel like a woman and feel that she's loved, right? So in theory, if we can take all of these different things and come to a consensus, right? So if we take all of these different things, right? So if we take the job, we take the money, we take the goals, we take the family, we take the kids, we take quality time, right? We take their marriage, and we stop for a second and we think about it and say, you know what? We take all of these different things, and you know what? Even if we take the man and the woman as well, right? And we take all of these different things and take them out of both of the circles. And we create one giant circle. Right? This is how both parties can understand how a man thinks and how a woman thinks. Combining both circles to make one. And by doing that, 
this is how you have better relationships. You have better communication. You have better understanding for your significant other. You have a perspective that explains why the person thinks that the way that they do. See, the thing is that most women don't know that a man is not whole until a man has all of the different things in his circle and has all those th- different things checked off. Because in a man's mind, a man wants to be the best of the best of the best, like MIB, men in black, right? See, a woman doesn't think like that. A woman just, if she has these things, then she feels whole. She feels, hey, I'm a woman. I have all of the things that I love and I'm whole. But see, a man doesn't think like that. A man thinks, I need to have my car, my job, my goals. I need to make money so I can provide for my family. But see, the the common issue that happens is that a woman doesn't understand what a man thinks and a man doesn't understand what a woman thinks. So hopefully, by this, this diagram that I've shown here, hopefully this explains how a man thinks versus how a woman thinks. And hopefully this helps someone in their current situation, whatever they're, you know, whoever may see this, wherever they are that might be going through it, hopefully this particular situation explains how their significant other thinks and how it can potentially save their relationship. I'm Mahalo and I'm signing out.